the majority of skin cancer comes from UV radiation of some form, whether it be in a tanning bed or whether it be from being outside. And what I try to do is educate, even when I'm seeing them for a different reason, if I see that they're obviously got a lot of sun exposure, I try to educate them about if they're young, what's gonna happen if you keep doing this. You know, if they're older, I point out these spots on you that are, you know, could be small skin cancers or are precancerous. And I try to make them understand that even though they feel like being tan is good, that it may ultimately, you know, not be as good as they think it is. And I, you know, I have young children or, and teenagers and I lecture them about sun exposure. And, you know, people feel like when they're 15 that they're not going to care what they look like when they're 45. But as a 45 year old, I promise you, you're going to care. So you want to do things to look good your whole, try to look good your whole life. You know, not just look good, but it prevents skin cancers. Melanoma, you can increase your risk by bad, one bad sunburn or just chronic exposure to the sun. So, you know, the sun provides some things we need. Without it, your body can't make vitamin D, so you do need some exposure to the sun. But you basically get enough just walking back and forth to the car from a building and things like that. So whenever you're out in the sun for prolonged periods of time, I mean, you've got to put on sunscreen. Cover, you wear a hat, and you men, and you gotta wash your ears, because the common thing about men is they wear caps and their ears are out, and then they have skin cancers all over their ears. But you have to wear protective covering, and whatever's exposed, you have to put sunscreen on it. And you have to reapply, particularly if you're in the water. You just gotta be vigilant. Thank <laughs> you.